There are now less than 100 days until voters are scheduled to head to the polls to choose who will face off come Election Day this November. Longtime Congressman Sanford Bishop has some competition for Congressional District 2. At least five Republicans say they're running for a seat. Tonight, we're taking a look at one of those candidates, Wayne Johnson. He's from Macon. Ashlyn Webb joins us live in studio. To tell us more about Johnson. Yes, Meg and I, Wayne Johnson, spent over 30 years as an entrepreneur and CEO of multiple businesses in consumer finance and customer service support. But beginning in 2017, he's gotten into politics, serving as a senior official in the Trump administration's Department of Education. Johnson calls himself a compassionate Republican who has graceful tenacity to do what he says is right in Washington and what's best for Congressional District 2. When you really kind of boil it down into a few short words, I want to stop the stupid that goes on in Washington, D.C. Wayne Johnson is no stranger to Washington, D.C. He served as a chief strategy and transformation officer and chief operating officer in the Department of Education's Office of Federal Student Aid during the Trump administration. I was uh, responsible for $1.6 trillion of the taxpayers' money and 44 uh, million customers. Uh, and, you know, this, the situation with regard to putting, putting out about $120 billion a year in new money. Johnson says while in D.C., he found that many politicians are, quote, one mile wide and an inch deep, meaning they don't get to the core of issues and correct them. He says the same goes for his opponent, Sanford Bishop. Sanford is, has been in a comfort zone. Johnson says over the past few months, he's traveled to 30 counties, hearing top issues from voters. He says one of those is health care access in rural areas. I was a medical service corps officer in the United States Army and ran um, a medical uh, battalion aid station uh, for the Eskimo Scouts in Alaska. And I'll tell you, the Eskimo Scouts in Alaska had better access to first line medical care uh, than we see here in, in, in Georgia. Johnson said he also heard from farmers who say they need more labor, but also water. Several southwestern counties have moratoriums on well drilling. Uh, one of the ideas I've come up with is how we can actually bring federal funds to help farmers put in deep water wells and, and tap into the, the water that, that they need. He also wants to dig into the root causes of law enforcement struggle to employ and retain officers. You know, you've got you know, 30 year veterans making less than $20 an hour, you know, putting their lives on the line. Uh, I've got a, an idea for a program there where I think we could uh, have, you know, that be a reserve force for Homeland Security and maybe bring some additional, um, you know, pay funding to those folks. Now these are just some of the issues Johnson pointed out in our interview. We'll have more on 13WMAZ.com. It's important to know that the man who ran against Sanford Bishop last election, Don Cole, is now Wayne Johnson's campaign manager. Cole believes Republicans have a chance to flip the district after this session's redistricting. I'll also have more on that in this story online. Back to you, Frank. All right, thank you, Ashton. The primary election is scheduled for May 24th. If you need to register for the primary, you have to do that by April 25th.